Ok, let's clone the repositories and then I will explain the folder structure there. First of all, I will clone the clockwise repository. So, I will get this link here. And I will create a new folder called to run another command here because if you look at the firmware and clock faces there are sub modules each of this folder is a reference to an other repository so if we click here in 01 it's the clock face of Mario Bros if we click in 02 it's the clock face of timing words I want to download all this I want to clone actually all these repositories so I will need to use a command that I don't remember very well, but it's here. It's here. Git sub module update init, and then I pass the path of the clock faces, firmware clock faces. When I do this, I clone all the clock faces, and that's all. Doing this, uh, you already can open the platform IO and then test everything. Let's see. Uh, I will open here the platform IO uh, open open project clockwise demo clockwise firmware platform IO.ini this is the root of the project If everything worked, you will see some buttons here, right in the the bottom bar, like compile and uh, and upload the firmware. Let's wait some time. It's updating something. Project has been successfully updated. Okay. And um, talking about the folder structure. I can close this. Uh, this is the firmware folder, right? Like this folder. It's where the main source code is is present. If I expand this SRC, the source, you will see just only the main CPP. This is the entry point of the the clockwise, and you usually won't change this because uh, in this file it just call the, the reference uh, clock face and then call the the setup and up update methods inside the clock face uh, also this this main CVP has some um, useful uh, methods it calls actually it calls other methods for example it starts the Wi-Fi connecting it starts the NTP to get the date and time correctly and also it handled improve Wi-Fi in order to do the uploads of the the clock face in the web web page so in general you won't change this so where is the clock face uh, reference here it will look in the library folder. In the library folder, we have another two folders. Clockwise commons. In this in this folder, uh, I put some uh, helper uh, classes. For example, the date time, preference, web server, where you can set the parameters, and uh, let me see Wi-Fi controller, where you can connect the Wi-Fi. Yeah, there are some helper classes here and GFX engine it's 
more related to draw something in the screen. I especially use this these classes in the Mario Bros. Clock. There are some some uh, headers where you can draw sprite styles, uh, objects. There is this class that's interesting. This locator where you can add reference of the display and event bus and get this, those reference in your class let me see what game event task yeah this is used in my Bros. clock as well but it can of course can be used in other clock faces I, my intention was to be reused in other clock faces okay basically uh, you see two folders in the library but if I try to compile here for example main CPP I will click in the check mark button here you will see an error because clock face uh, is not present in any place so what, I, what do I have to do uh, reference a reference a one of one of these folders we cloned it before should be inside the library so if I move for example 0 to the library the clock the clockwise will be the Mario Bros clock if I move to time war time words will be the the clock face instead of moving I put a link in the I put a link in here I will create, uh, of course, if you are using Linux, uh, I will create a symbolic link in the in the folder so that we don't need to move or copy the the, the, f the folders. Let's see here, firmware and lib. Okay, ln dash s, and I will reference zero two and I will rename it to timing words when I do this it creates a, f a reference to the this folder here and for the compiler it, it looks like there is a folder here called timing words so if I try to compile again it looks good okay so I can uh, flash the timing words clock. Let's see what happened. Okay, restarting. That's it. Six oh six right uh, I can do the same with other clock faces here just uh, creating a symbolic link to the correct uh, folder you want the clock face you want and then you can change your clock face alright and uh, that's it for the basic of uh, clockwise structure so now I will, cr I will remove the symbolic link Oops. and I will let me see I think I will uh, there is a there is a clock face uh, a repository that I just created uh, that's called it CW, CWCF0 that's the first in the, in the clock faces these clock faces this clock face actually is not a clock face it's just a template of uh, for creating new ones so in this repository there are uh, only two files clockface.h clockface.cpp and those files is only the necessary files to create a, a clock face so I will clone this repo Uh, 
and I will I will create a link here to this repository just to show you what the how the structure works. Um, I will do the same, create a symbolic link and template. Templates here, clockface.h, clockface.cpp. Let's see if it compiles. Okay. Let's flash it with this template. Okay, this is the template. It's not. It's kind of ugly but I'm just showing here the different fonts, colors, icons, and uh, date and time. Uh, what, I, what I want to show you, first of all, the class clock face should implement clock in the interface clock face. This interface has only, only two methods there, setup and update. Those methods are used like the Arduino uh, do, for example, in the beginning it calls setup and I pass a reference of w date time, so it's interesting to save this object in your cl in your clock face to be used later. And update will be called every time, like every millisecond. So you can create animations, or if you want just show the seconds, you will do the last time millis technique to like just to avoid to, to be called every time okay in the clock face dot age here the, the my template I created a new method here refresh date because it's used in two places of the code and in the uh, class constructor I'm pass I receive a reference to display I could be used the locator like I mentioned before locator is interesting class here but as in the main CPP, I am uh, receiving this this reference. Like, uh, let me see here. I'm I'm changing this just to receive the display. It will it will work the same the same way. In the in the clock face dot CP, that's the implementation. Uh, for example, here. I have the constructor receiving the display, so I save the reference here, and also I call pr uh, locator to provide the display to it. Um, in the setup, I receive CWD time, and also save the reference here, and then I prepare the 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 clock face here. So first of all, I draw a rectangle of uh, 64 by 64 uh, with color black. So I just clear the display, clear the screen. I set font of pic Pico Pixel. That's a font that's present in Commons folder, right here. Uh, let me see what I do. I set the font, and then I write clockwise template here. In this case, I change the color of template here, and then draw two uh, icons. I call it refresh date, writing the the setup, and then I reset the font to be used the the full font of Adafruit GFX. That's it for setup method, and then uh, the update will be called uh, every time, like I said. So I don't want to update this display every time. So every uh, I just want every second. So I create this uh, very common. 
uh, condition just to count uh, like I, I just incremented the time millis when I got 1000 time millis that means one second I run this this block of code and um, I format the, the the hour here and then print in the in the display here when minutes and second are zero so every hour I call refresh date I could actually could call when hour is, is zero as well but yeah it's up to you refresh date is a method right down here and I do something similar set font pico pixel I format the 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 date like month and day and draw a rectangle a white rectangle set text color to black and uh, print the date and then I reset the font again because the the time is being called every second and that's all this is the basic uh, structure of a uh, clock face so uh, I, in the next video I will show like printing uh, I don't know, printing a, a background here and then we will change the fonts etc. That's all for this video.